For this Onshape assignment, start by creating a new Onshape document. Document name will be Dog Paw. Click OK. Going to go into Canvas. And in the module Dog Paw, we're going to download this JPEG image. It's provided in the module. That gets downloaded to your downloads. Now we're going to go back into Onshape. We need to click on this plus sign in the bottom left hand corner to insert a new element. We're going to import. And in your downloads, you should have the dog paw file that gets uploaded into Onshape. Close those windows that load. We need to start with a sketch on the top plane. Clicking on the top of the view cube. And we're going to insert our image. Insert image. Here's the dog paw image. And I'm going to click and drag to make this about as big as this on shape box. Going to press letter D to dimension. And I'm going to click here. To here, oh, that doesn't work in this program. Um, I'm going to dimension this line. So if that's 7.8 inches, this gives us probably about five. Let's draw a circle over the dog paw. And that let's get it's giving us about five inches. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So we're going to. Double click on our seven. Let's go ahead and make that five. Let's make the picture five inches wide. And then that will give us a circle with a dog paw of about 3.24. That's good. So if you make your picture five inches wide by using the dimension tool, that is letter D on the keyboard, clicking on the bottom or top edge bringing it down and then typing in five that will make your picture five inches wide it gives us a good size for this ornament it's important to make sure you're aware of size when designing an on shape now we're going to trace the paw design let's see what we got so we're going to use this do this triangle part of the pad first. We're going to use the spline tool. And that's going to just allow us to trace this shape. Remember, you can go control shift and then use the arrow keys to move around while you're tracing in case you run out of screen space. And then finish right there. And now, okay, control shift. Arrows are going to do the finger parts. For this, let's try an ellipse. It's underneath the circle tool. So it looks like we have to pick from the center. So we're just going to go right there and right there and then right there so eyeball the center go down to the end go to the side eyeball the center go to the end looks like that one I was off a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna escape and delete that one clicking on it pressing the delete button Going to try that one again, maybe a little bit over this way. Mm 
That's better. You can also use the spline tool to trace these. Okay. And then to finish, we'll use the spline tool. Let me start here. Trace around, shift control, arrow. Going to double click right here stop and then I'm going to start again shift control arrows like backwards of what you think it needs to be for the direction double click there Double click. Double click. Right click, escape spline, and now I can drag some of these dots. Whoa, zooming in way too fast. Everything looks good. I'm going to stop my sketch and then click on the extrude button. Click inside. Should turn gray and change this to 0.1 instead of 1. Makes it much thinner, green check mark. And we now have the 3D solid model for the dog print. You're gonna take a screenshot of this and upload that to Canvas. Thanks for watching.